In this video, we'll take a look at the Microsoft Edge browser which has been released with Windows 10. Edge is looked at as the successor to Internet Explorer. Like Windows 10, Edge aims to make life simple. The interface is basic, urging you to pay more attention to the web content it displays than the user interface itself. You can open Edge from the taskbar by going down to the E icon just there. You can also open Edge by going to the search area in the taskbar and typing it in. Microsoft Edge. Internet Explorer is still available in Windows 10, but as you can see here, Microsoft has set Edge as its recommended browser. So we'll go into that. Firstly, you can see that Microsoft Edge looks different to Internet Explorer. At the top of the page, you can open multiple tabs in a single instance of Edge by clicking on the plus button at the top, just here. And you can also hit Control and T, which will also open a new tab. And you can search for a website. And you can see that it automatically fills in the site there, which goes to google.com. If you go to open another tab, and you go to type in details for another website there, and hit the space bar, that will do a Google search instead of going directly to the site. And you can click into the site that way. So you can see there that we have a few sites open. On the left of the browser, you can set tabs aside for later, which can help manage tabs if you happen to have a lot of tabs open at any one time. So you'll see there if you hover over that option there, it says set these tabs aside. So if you hit that, what you'll see is that will bring all these tabs into this area here. So it helps keep the, uh, the amount of tabs that you have open tidy, it makes it more manageable to use as well. And if ever you want to restore a tab at a particular time, you just come back into this area here. You can restore all the tabs if you want, or if you just want to restore a particular tab, you can just click on that one there, and that will put that one back into the Microsoft Edge for you there. At the top of Edge next to the plus button, if you just hover on that little arrow there, that gives you the option to show tab preview. So if you select that, you'll see that it has uh, previews of the tabs that you have open. On the left of Edge, you, you can see you've got an arrow here, which will go back a window for you as well. So if you want to go back to the previous page that you were on, that will bring you back there. Or if you press the arrow going to the right, that will bring you forward a tab as well. This icon here is a option to refresh the page. So that will go ahead and check that that is the latest page there. You can also use F5 as well, which will go ahead and refresh the page. Uh, the home tab there, which will bring you back to the home page that you have set. Currently, it's set on the uh, default page that Edge has, but we can go ahead and change that. If we go to the right hand side of Microsoft Edge, you have a number of different options up here in the hub. So you can add, if you want to add a particular site as a favorite, a site that you have open, you can click on that option there. So this gives you the option to save the site here into your favorites. You can also save it into your favorites bar as well. So we'll go ahead and put that into our favorites. And we'll also go ahead and put that into our favorites bar as well. Now, if you click into the hub option here, it gives you a few different options for the favorites bar as well. So you can see that we have that added as part of our favorites bar you can also manage the favorites bar by creating a new folder so we'll call this uh, test favorites for your reading list you can save articles and videos where you can come back to at a later date as well we also have the history tab or it'll give you details of all the sites you've been to. You can go ahead and clear all that history by just clicking there. And that will give you the option, yep, we can clear all of that. Okay, so you can see that that's gone ahead and cleared all the history. And you also have the same option in downloads as well. If you have any recent downloads, you have the option to be able to clear them from, from here as well. 
The next option in Edge is the notes area. So if you click on this option up the top here for adding notes, this gives you the option to make particular notes on a, on a web page. So you can you can see here it has a highlighter ballpoint pen added. So you can make particular notes on a page. You can use a highlighter as well. You can use different ones. Like that you can go ahead and do an arrays on anything that you've made and you can also add notes as well like this so you can add and you can also add another one here so once you've made your adjustments you can then go up to the top right and you have the option to save the web notes so you can save that here as whatever you want you can put it into your reading list you can put it into your favorites or you can put it into OneNote so for now we'll put that into the one list so we'll go to save and we'll be able to come back and view that at a later date. So if you want to come out of the web notes, just go up to the top right hand corner and click the X there to exit. The next option you can see is the share this page. So if you click on that, that gives you the option to share a particular page with, with anyone through OneNote. Um, you can copy the link and you can also send it through mail and Skype. And if you have any additional apps, you can share it through them as well. And the last option is on these three little dots. If you click into that, that gives you a few more options where you can open up a new window. You can open a private window as well. You also have the option to zoom the page as well. If it's too big or if you want to make it smaller, you have the option there as well. You also have your favorites, your reading list. So if you go into your reading list there, you'll see that's the note that we made. And you can see that's where it's saved. So you can go in to review that. You can also go down into settings. Here you'll be able to change the theme as well. So if you want it as a dark theme, that will change the browser to a dark background. And change that back to light. You can also change the start page as well. So you can p pick a particular or a specific page. So if you want um, Google to be the default page when you open it, we can put that in. Okay, so that'll save that in there. So if we close the Edge browser now, yes, we'll close all tabs and we'll open Edge back up again. And you can see that it brings us to Google as our default homepage. You can also import or export favorites as well. You click into there, gives you the option to import from Internet Explorer or Chrome or Firefox, which if you have any other browsers installed as well. And you can also export to a file as well if you want to use it on a different computer. And if we show the favorites bar there, you'll be able to see the Google icon that we saved as a favorite earlier as well. You can also change privacy and security settings here, so you can choose what data to clear and what's being included. You can also change the cookie settings as well. Block all cookies or only select particular cookies. And you also have different options there for other privacy settings and security pop-ups. Passwords as well. Edge will also manage passwords if you want it to. You can turn that on or off. If you want to go into delete or remove particular passwords that may have been saved you can just go in there and click into that and you can also delete that so never saved we'll delete that there and the last option is for advanced and this gives you different site settings for uh, website permissions proxy setups and for cortana as well